here in a moment. All right. All right, we are recording. So let me go ahead and present. And uh, look, I am super excited today to uh, to bring to you this offering, um, the reserve at Highland Lake. Um, this is a 152 unit class B uh, property. And I'm, I am more than excited to be partnering uh, with the apartment buying guys here. And I'm going to share my screen with you guys so you can uh, you can see everything and and, uh, and walk you through the presentation. We're going to go through a few key details here uh, for you. But before I go ahead and get into the specifics of the reserve at Highland Lake, um, I'm going to uh, give you a little bit of a, a, a reintroduction to me. Uh, and, uh, and and walk you through because I think this is it's just really important to know who you're partnering with, who you're investing in, who you're investing with. And so for, for those of you who are here watching it and recording or watching it live, live on my name is Chris Price. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Red Fox Multifamily. Uh, I'm a pharmaceutical executive with nearly 20 years of experience, um, expertise in marketing, medical and sales operations. And throughout my professional career, uh, continuous growth and development has been important to me. I'm a, I'm a certified Lean Six Sigma Green Belt. I have my MBA in healthcare management. I have a master's certification in applied project management. And I received my bachelor's degree in communication and public relations from Marist College, where I excel both academically and athletically as a Division I football all in. Um, it, it's where I met my wife and so many of my dear friends that I still have to this day. And the namesake of our company, Red Fox, actually is the is the mascot that came from the Marist College Red, Red Foxes. Um, and it has a special place in our hearts and it's where everything started. So one one of this is like where it all began and how it all connects to us. And you know, I, I just want to make sure that everybody kind of knows, you know, that that origin because um, there, there's a lot there that um, that people should really uh, understand. But one of my favorite authors and, and speakers um, is Jim Rohn, uh, the late Jim Jim Rohn, and he talked about how a formal education can make you a living, but a self education can make you a fortune. And uh, the reason why I bring this up is because I've invested substantially in my self education. Um, I've I'm a real estate investor for over 10 years, holding and managing single family property, passively investing in multifamily syndications with over 330 units. Uh, I'm investing uh, in, in real estate funds, which consists of multiple different um, assets, such as apartments and self-storage and hotels and um, you know, various different uh, mobile home parks, various different things that, that are in these funds. And in addition to that, I own four plus acres of land in, in, uh, outside of Greensboro, North Carolina. And I've invested in several real estate masterminds and academies and coaching programs to help me continue to grow my knowledge and expertise in this space. And to that end, what you see here um, in, this, uh, in this actual uh, slide is uh, you see me at a real estate conference and um, and educational events yeah, that both actually happened in Dallas, where we're actually uh, investing in this in this particular deal. Uh, on the left, you can see uh, me at Michael Blanc's co uh, conference at Dealmaker Live, and I know Lance, um, you know Lance was there, and I'm going to speak to that in a moment. Uh, that's where we actually met, and I'll get some some details there so you guys know. But on the on the right is another real estate conference that I had a chance to attend for multifamily, which was Brad Sumrock's community at the Rat Race to Retirement event, also in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And real estate investing allows me to combine my love of travel and business and entrepreneurship with my love of real estate and helping others invest passively and provide clean, safe, and affordable housing. And essentially, uh, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to do good while doing well. So I'm passionate about my self-education and that I, you know, and to so much so that you know, I actually 
a meetup, a virtual meetup that I'm running right now that's called the Wealth Mindset and Real Estate Investing Meetup, where I know I have many, uh, many of my investors and uh, connections uh, actually come from there. So uh, the, the last thing I want to share with you guys, just a little bit about me, um, is that, you know, this is a picture of me with, which, with my family. And these, this is my number one why. Um, you know, my family means everything to me. And, you know, when, when I, when it comes down to when everyone's like, oh, well, Chris, what's up with the real estate investing? And you, you have so many great things going on, you know, really it comes down to my family. My family is, is my why. And, and they, they motivate me to, to, to do better, to be able to, you know, help, uh, you know, provide for, for them and, and in ways that, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to imagine and real estate really provides that path. So from left to right, you have myself, my daughter Zoe, my son Caden, and my beautiful wife Allison. So let, let me just get into a, a, a real quick intro here of the sponsor team, and then I'll turn it over to Lance to walk us through. So real quick, just about Red Fox Multifamily. Um, you know, we're a leading real estate investment firm providing busy professionals with fully vetted Past flowing investment opportunities in exceptional multifamily real estate. Um, Red Fox Multifamily works with individuals who are dissatisfied with the low returns from savings accounts and bonds and or who are concerned about the volatility of the stock market, which there's been a whole lot of that late, lately, right? And you know, passive investing with Red Fox Multifamily allows busy professionals to diversify their portfolios without the hassles associated with being a landlord by investing in exceptional multifamily properties across the nation. Uh, this recession resi res resistant real estate uh, model provides protection, predictable income, and peace of mind in any condition. Um, with Red Fox Multifamily, busy professionals have the opportunity to earn lucrative returns at low risk, um, save on taxes and reach financial freedom and create a legacy asset that can be passed on to future generations. And you know that that is something that is so uh, motivating to, to me and being able to present these opportunities to folks. And, um, you know, I, I just am, am so excited. And so let me let me get out of the way here and let me first just introduce, um, you know, our, our partners here. So, um, you know, I had the opportunity to meet um, Adam and Lance. Um, Adam's not able to join us here th this evening. I know there, there's been some, uh, obviously, if you paid attention to the news, there's been some weather down in, in Dallas and uh, They've had a bit of an ice storm and, you know, just uh, dealing with some things there. But I had a pleasure, the pleasure of meeting both Adam and Lance last June um, in 2022 at Filmmaker Live. And they were interviewed on the main stage. And, you know, I was just amazed at their success, um, the success of their business and what they've been building together. Uh, but what I was most impressed by was their character. Um, I was able to 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 find them afterwards uh, the network with them a little bit and where we we discussed the the potential of doing business together and here we are you know a little less than a year later you know connecting and able to to work together um, and partner on this this exciting new opportunity but you know even while they were there they were just so kind and generous and they they or they had recently uh, taken down a deal right there in, in in Dallas, and so they organized a property tour for you know investors who were in the area to come and visit and walk through the property, which I just thought was such a nice nice touch to actually give people an opportunity to 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 touch and feel you know they had uh, what what they have invested in and what the opportunities were. And so it was just so, um, so cool to be connected to them in that way. So um, without further ado, let me introduce um, my, my partners from the Apartment Buying Guys. Um, again, Adam's not here this evening, um, but Adam has, has been a real estate investor since 2004. Uh, starting with his investing career with uh, with single family rentals, then um, into multifamily. He has sponsored over uh, 215 units in Texas and Oklahoma and invested in 358 units as well. Um, before launching apartment buying guys, Adam and, and, and Lance uh, ran a successful single family investing company called Home Buying Guys, which uh, with about 60 to 70 uh, single family transactions a year. Adam lives in DFW and is married to his beautiful wife, Denise, and they have two daughters. And Lance 
Lance uh, started, you know, his multifamily career in 2019 and co-founded Apartment Buying Guys with Adam. Um, and he also has sponsored, you know, 215 units um, in in uh, Texas and Oklahoma um, and running a successful single family a home again with my home buying guys business um, and transactions with gross profits of over a million in, tw- in 2021, which is really impressive. Um, he yeah. received his bachelor's in finance in 2006 and has been a, a high performing salesman since then. So Lance is married to his best friend, Rachel, for 17 yeah. years, and has two kids and two dogs. So with without further, let me uh, pass it over to you, Lance, and let me uh, actually admit a few people to the room here because I think we got some people work waiting in the in the room here. So let me admit. We should have uh all right, let me pull the deck back up. You should be able to see uh in a second. So uh let me know when you want me to go. Yeah, for sure. You know, and you, you man, fantastic intro. Love love the energy, love the excitement, uh love the formality of it. You know, love good to have you offline but Red Fox Minute answered that. Uh you know, and I, and yeah, we have had some ice here, uh, and you know, we you talk about being a family man, and and that's Adam and I. In fact, I, I wasn't too direct with you. I didn't know why Adam wasn't going to be on the call tonight, but in between you and I talking to get ready for this meeting, he goes, "Dude, I've been in the house for 72 hours with these two kids, and I've got to get them out." And so they just have cabin fever, and so he's taking them to go get some yogurt, so they'll quit yelling in the background. So. Uh, yeah, we've been frozen up here in Dallas. They, they, this one, this one, they're calling it Dallaska because uh, it was just <laughs> nothing but ice. And um, so uh, we 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 have to, to have a lot of great investor calls, and not much has changed. We've we've all been in front of the computer, but yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you for for the kind words. You know, I think you know one thing about uh, anyone that is on this call are going to see this recording. You know. Multifamily uh, is is a very high level finance product. Uh, to learn the, the the nuances of underwriting uh, and trying to forecast cap rates. I mean, the the detail that goes into analyzing every opportunity. Man, there's just not one penny uh, that is not tried to that is not forecasted or predicted or taken into consideration. So it becomes a very high level financial product. But at the end of the day, the thing that's made the most difference to me, and, and I think you guys are seeing this, you, you guys, this is still a people-driven business. And the relationships we've been able to create uh, in a short amount of time, it's humbling. Uh, we're, we're just two guys at Apartment Buying Guys who, who, know, who know real estate. We're laser focused with, with our, our target markets in terms of uh, we're trying to find 100 plus units. We're, it's either gonna be in Dallas, Texas, or Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, we really love those 80s, those uh, early 80s vintages. We want to give our investors, you know, 18 to 20% returns, a nice pref equity. And if we can do that, um, then we know that people will follow. And, you know, we've been blessed with a successful single family business. Uh, both of our wives, um, that business retired both of our wives in, in 2020. Um, in 2021, Adam quit his W-2. He was a high performing sales guy uh, while he was accruing real estate. Um, and, and while we were building home buying guys, and then in 2022, July 7th of this year, I, I retired from my W-2 job and kind of put all our eggs in this basket in, in, in creating that, that generational wealth that, that, that truly, I believe, multifamily is the greatest investment that exists. The, the three aspects of high double-digit returns, quarterly payouts, and then bonus depreciation, the tax incentives really round out something that I think is really the only, the only investment product out there that delivers those three things. Um, in a way to, to how Chris presented it, you know, busy, high performing professionals can passively incur those three benefits. So uh, today we're talking about the reserve at Lake Highlands. It's 152 units and it's across the street from the 127 units uh, that, I, that, that apartment buying guys already operates. So uh, on this slide deck, our SEC lawyer makes us put this disclaimer in there. So guys, this is still a, a uh, an investment, please do your own diligence and research. If you'd like to read through the disclaimer, you're going to have every bit of access to that. Um, uh, it, a lot of the numbers are forecasted, despite the fact we've spent about six figures on making sure 
there's a uh, little to, uh, to to no wiggle room. Everything is is vetted and researched, uh, but do your own research um, with any investment, right? We have to say that. Let's get that out of the way and, and talk about the market. So, uh, Chris, uh, remind me where are the majority of the folks, or is it, or is this the, out of the Northeast? Yeah, majority of the folks are from from the the New York area. So I think giving them a lay of the land of of, of what's down there in Dallas and and why it's such an attractive market to invest in will be helpful. Absolutely. So, you know, in Texas, it's national news. You know, folks are getting out of, of the, the areas where it's high taxation. Um, businesses are attracted to states that are pro-business. Texas has been one of those. Uh, businesses are attracted to, to uh, places that have a very low cost of living a low cost of, uh, of land. Um, and so while the, the market is booming here in, in Dallas, um, specifically some other sub markets like Houston, Austin also have been booming, you know, Dallas Fort Worth is, is so unique because of how much vast land is available still to be had. Uh, if you're not familiar with Texas, it's really hard to understand. I was driving, I was driving uh, between Dallas and Austin one time with a with a colleague of mine. He actually is an investor in every deal I have, uh, and he he was from Chicago, and he he was like, man, I knew Texas was big, but he goes, there's absolutely nothing in between Dallas and Austin, and I was like, well, we got Waco, and he's like, well, but that's like two hours of nothing, and I'm like, yeah, that's ex that, that that gives you an idea of how much room there is to expand. He just couldn't imagine it wasn't just metropolitan the entire way through like it is in the state of Illinois, majority of parts of the state of Illinois. So uh, so why DFW? You know, we have a total population of more than seven and a half million, ranks fourth in terms of U.S. largest metros, and currently ranked one of the fastest growing areas as well, boasting about 20% population growth. And then uh, that has only increased in 2021, uh, in 2022 as well. Uh, you can go to the next slide. Jobs are moving here, guys. Um, we've had just in 2021, we had Texas Instruments uh, increase 3,000 jobs, uh, GATTIC, TRIA, Rhino Health, Raytheon. Uh, that was in addition to the ones listed here in 2020. Uh, but what, what's not on here are some of even the larger ones, right? We've got Charles Schwab that just built a billion dollar facility and moved in like 5,000 employees. We've got the PGA headquarters just moved to Frisco. Uh, every month, uh, we get a big announcement in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and where the Reserve at Lake Highlands is is located, this is where their staff will live. This is really unique area of Dallas that is a city of Dallas, but is Richardson School District. Uh, we might cover that a couple times in the slide, but that's very big because if you're familiar with metropolitan areas, metropolitan cities typically don't handle school districts really well. And so families need to live where the jobs are, like the city of Dallas, but they want their kids to go to a suburb school district so they get better education, better communication, a little less hands in the pot in terms of how finances are handled. And that's a situation. Richardson is a, is a fantastic town uh, with a very strong school district. Um, Adam, the other partner, the other home buying guy, lives five and a half minutes from this property. Um, and that's what, we're, that's what the next slide talks about being the new epicenter of DFW. Uh, what's really unique about Richardson, this is probably more history than I need to give you, but I grew up here, guys. This is this is the part of the Metroplex that I've eat, uh, ate, slept, and, and breathed in since I was five years old. Um, in the early 90s, before any of us were going to have cell phones, we were, we, I mean, this is before y'all even had pagers, guys. All of the companies that had a pager back in the day, when I was in sixth grade trying to get a pager, all the companies, they had they had their brand up on one of these buildings in Richardson. Richardson has been a telecom hub for 30 plus years, and companies just keep moving here as technology increases. Um, in the last uh, five years, we've heard about some large computer bit uh, uh, manufacturers moving into the United States. Phoenix, Dallas are two big hubs. Uh, before that was a global phenomenon because of the technology we now have. A lot of it was made at, the, in, at a small scale in Richardson for the last 40, 50 years. So right now, uh, companies like State Farmer headquartered there, Raytheon, AT&T, Fossil, uh, Geico, Cisco. Uh, it says located in the epicenter, Richardson is known as the International Business Hub of North Texas, boasting more than 60 international companies, um, exceeding 130,000 employees, making it Dallas, Fort Worth's thar third largest employment hub as well. Folks, the picture you're looking at is five minutes from our property. Uh, you can go to the next slide. 
and we'll go kind of go through the executive summary here. So, you know, the, the opportunity at the reserve is huge. Uh, one thing that we're going to keep mentioning and I think is going to separate this opportunity from anything that I offer um, any of my investors or Chris would offer any of his uh, until we buy another one of the neighbors is not too many times are we going to have the proof of concept like we do here. Keep in mind, we already are own and operating a property that is 50 feet across the street. I can throw a football from one of flagpole to the next flagpole. That's how close we are. So we know the rents we can accomplish. So the opportunity here lies, it's simple. We have 90% of the units are, are, are classic. There's, we have a ton of opportunity to do improvements there. Uh, it's a well-maintained asset. So the exterior of this property really is not something we will have to touch. Um, in fact, uh, we're, we're, we've got this property at $126,000 a door. That's what we're purchasing at, at. This summer, it was under contract at $155,000 a door. When the lending terms changed uh, for the whole market, it fell out of contract and the current um, current owner and seller was able to put about 350 grand of earnest money he earned from that falling through into the exterior. And it looks fantastic. A lot of hardscape, brand new paint, things like that. So. Um, it's a couple of the other opportunities. Obviously, we've got the strong experience lead sponsors. One thing we didn't mention is the other brand on the first slide, Prime Investments. Um, they're closing in on about 1,500 uh, units under management. Uh, there are partners of ours in our deal across the street. We've worked with them for about 18 months now and are, and are blown away by their professionalism, by their ability to get things done. We work really well together. Um, uh, and, and so, We've, we've kind of established that, you know, with with their, with their where we're at and, and our ability to take down certain size of deals, um, you know, they, they allow us to do more quicker and we work well with them. So um, that's a big part of our experience is, is also leaning on our partners at Prime Investments. Um, and then quickly, you know, the ability to grow rents right now. You know, this property, even though it's a lot nicer than the one we own across the street, it truly is. Uh, their rents are about $200 uh, uh, shy of where we are already at across the street at retreat. So we have an opportunity to quickly grow rents. When we grow rents, we grow income. We grow income, we grow net operating income. And when we do that, we increase the value of the property. And that's the investment opportunity in a nutshell. You can go to the next slide. And if I'm getting too into something, you think I should move on, let me know, man, because uh, I could talk about this deal till I'm blue in the face. This is just what we love to do. So uh, my, my teenager just looked in here and just rolled her eyes. Like you're still talking about that deal. You know, so that, that's, what, uh, that's what teenagers do. They just, they don't know what, why dads get so excited all the time, but uh, we're purchasing this property at 19.2 million. Uh, like I mentioned before, it's $126,000 a door. Uh, we purchased the one across the street and here's good to shape. For about uh, for right at 131,000 a door in March, and in fact, Chris, if you will uh, move your cursor, so if you're looking at this photo and you see that in the top left of this of this picture right here, see that yellow building right there? You, you're right on. If you go south, right there, go down, right there is is the one we we operate currently. That's the retreat at Lake Highlands that you visited with us. So to give you guys an idea of exactly how close we're talking about, so. Um, the offering summary, we got an equity multiplier of 1.94, uh, basically doubling the, uh, your money you put in 100, you're going to pull out about 200K, um, you, uh, internal return of 5.5%. We got an annual average return at 19% on this deal, average cash on cash, 6%, um, our break even occupancy percent and guys this is such an insulated property our current occupancy is 99 percent um, obviously we actually want that to drop a little bit so we'll have the ability to turn some units and, and, and improve the property but uh, we have a very strong uh, occupancy uh, and this is a three to five year hold um, why don't we move forward on this uh, so we'll be offering a one common equity class to investors, uh, limited partners, a class A share, sit behind the debt and the capital stack per the diagram below. It says class A has a preferred return of 7%. So a preferred return basically is, is the, uh, the preferred, so the limited partners investing in the deal will, will receive a 7% uh, payment. Uh, and that's an annual number. So let's say you invest $100,000 
in this deal. Let's get my calculator out here just to make sure I'm not right. So 7,000 divided by, you're looking at $1,750 paid to you every quarter uh, that the investment is active. Uh, up until the time we cash out of this deal. So, you know, there's a lot of folks that are, that are looking for that two extra turns. A lot of folks looking for that cash flow. Uh, just kind of depends uh, where you're at as an investor. And you can kind of see the equity uh, uh, split here. We have a 70% equity is going to go to the limited partners, 30% to the general partners. Um, we have minimum investment here at a hundred grand, but that is, that's the only mistake I think is on this slide deck it is a $50,000 minimum investment uh, and this is a class uh, 506b so we are we've got about 10 spots left of non-accredited investors um, and then unlimited spots in, in, in theory uh, we got about two million left to close this deal um, uh, if you're accredited uh, you wouldn't need to fit into one of those spots uh, so we can move forward there and you know the business plan is to raise current below market rents to the market rate uh, we'll upgrade the properties exterior and strategically enhance the classic units inside our aim is to achieve optimal rents and attract high quality tenants to increase revenue and maximize value achieving a 272 dollar rental increase through renovation will result in an added value of eight million dollars um, to the property over a two-year period and that's using a 5.75 cap rate um, and as you can tell, you know, one of the, the, the fact that when we can, when we can improve the property, we can raise rents and this, and if you'll notice this little pie chart here, the, the teal, we've got 93% classic units, 93% of the units have the ability to be improved, thus justifying the rent increase. Uh, and that's aside from the fact that the current rate is just well below market value. You can go to the next one now. Is there anything I'm skipping over or saying too fast, Chris? No, you're you're good. I think this it's just it's good inform, information for people to be grounded in and, and to, to really understand you know the opportunity here. And I think you know the the point that you stressed earlier, that is, which is the you know one of the the keys that I don't want I don't think it should be glossed over is the fact that again you have that proof of concept already um, with the property early across the street where where you're commanding you know, you're commanding uh, you know the the market rents um, and you know this this property is being purchased at a is, a, is in a better uh, state and you're able to make we're going to be able to make those enhancements and and uh and increase the rents over time here and like you said that that occupancy you know we're getting at getting that to a place where we can turn some units and and make it uh and be able to uh increase those rents over the, the course of the hold here to execute the business plan is really key Absolutely, absolutely. And just to, you know, I'll kind of go into this little CapEx overview. And for folks not familiar with the word CapEx, it's just a, it's a term for capital expenditures. And so those capital expenditures are part of the financials that, you know, we put into the deal. So when we look at taking down uh, an acquisition of a property, we also look at financing the capital expenditure budget that is required to increase the value. That way we can get started making those improvements immediately, right? So that, and, and I, I say that because sometimes there's a, there's a misconception of, okay, we buy the property, but maybe it, what if it doesn't cash flow so well to where we can do that work? The way this is set up, we're actually gonna finance the capital expenditures into the purchase price. So day one, we can get rolling with everything, all the work that we can get, get to. And I say get to, because again, there will be folks living in, the, in apartments and at, we, will be, we will be turning them as they become available. So. The classic unit renovation is going to look like this. In the kitchen, we're going to resurface the cabinets, paint them, that white look everyone wants now. We're going to basically take this from like a 2005 to 2010 finish out uh, to what we call a 2023 finish out, right? Light color, stainless steel appliances. We're going to put in the quartz countertops, replace the sinks and faucets with, with, with what folks expect today when they, you know, for, for what rent we're, we will be charging and what the market is, what we're competing against on the same street. Uh, from the property I already own, right? I've got to make it. I got to make it just as nice, if not nicer. Um, in the bathroom, we're gonna update the vanity fixtures. We're gonna fix this, the 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 tile um, surround. It's gonna have a really big. It's like an 11 by 14 tile. It has a marble finish. 
very inexpensive way to really make a, a space feel clean, pretty, but also pretty classy too. Uh, we're gonna retexture the ceilings, get rid of that popcorn, throw some can lighting up there, and then add some new door hardware. Um, so that's you know that's what we're going to, to increase the, the the unit experience so we can increase the rent. But there's also some other uh, income areas that we we've uncovered. We're gonna add washer dryer units. Uh, we that the, they currently own the units. We're gonna add more. Uh, we're also gonna offer them to be able to be rented uh, to tenants that have washer and dryer hookups in their rooms. Um, or in their apartments, all but 56 units are already hooked up uh, with washer and dryer connections so folks can bring their own or rent from us. Uh, that's a way we've been able to increase income across the street. Uh, the package concierge rollout, you know, folks are uh, every day uh, ordering from Amazon. Uh, we've got to offer a safe way for folks to get their packages. Um, you know, it's so easy to be stolen or misplaced on an apartment complex. Package concierge is, is a is a would be would be a mandated fee for everyone to take advantage of, but could offer a safe way for folks to get their 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 packages. Um, uh, continue Wi-Fi and cable enrollment. Uh, this property is actually extremely well managed. The the sellers we're buying from, I think we would probably buy every property they ever own after diving into their financials and how they handle their business. One of the things that they they did do. Uh, we, we implemented this across the street, so we were able to pick up a lot of revenue. They've already picked, they've already instituted this. They rolled out a, a, an exclusive cable Wi-Fi package uh, that increased, uh, they increased the overall income each month uh, by about 5,200 a month in month one. Um, so they've got a ton of, I think 120 out of 152 units are participating in that package. So we've got some opportunity there to pick up some of that delta. Uh, so we'll continue that. Um, covered parking revenue. We're going to add some storage to some of the covered parking. There, therefore, we could charge for storage in that area. Uh, and then gas is a huge thing. So in this demographic, we've got blue collar workers, we've got single mothers, um, and it seems to be that they, they, there's a need for multiple people in I don't know if it's multi-generational. Obviously, we, people shouldn't be living more than what the lease states. But we have noticed across the street, there's more than one car. And it's uh, the towing company and I actually discovered the fact that in their lease, they were only given, they were given up to 15 days before they had to purchase a guest pass for someone's car. Um, uh, but we weren't, I guess in the lease, it was 16 days, but the towing company was charging them 15 days. There was a nine day discrepancy. We weren't picking up about a $5 a day guest pass. Um, and the towing company that tows, that, that comes by every night and has the machine that just makes sure every license plate belongs to the property. They actually manage this for us. And we've been able to pick up a lot of income that way. So guest parking passes is a big deal. Uh, and then we're gonna increase the, the pool decking. We're gonna redo that, update it. Uh, the leasing center, we're actually, because the occupancy is so high, uh, we want to be able to tour units without having to uh, interrupt people. Um, so we're going to add actually a, a uh, model unit in the unused space in the in the leasing center, uh, do some repairs in the parking lot, um, some minor painting. We don't have to do a ton of exterior painting, but touch-ups, uh, and then landscaping, siding repairs, and some there's some boiler roof and HVAC plumbing maintenance uh, that rounds out what what we're spending the capital expenditure on. I was probably a little too long-winded there, um, but there's a lot to be done, and, and we will be able to capture it quickly. This gives you an idea of what the plastic unit looks like uh, versus the premium units. You'll see the original dark cabinets, the outdated, the, the uh, yeah, you'll see a black dishwasher there. Um, I guess they have mixed match black and white appliances, and then just solid services. It's actually like a furniture that gets. It gets sprayed when every tenant moves in or out. It, it's, it's, it doesn't look bad in this photo, but if you're up close, it kind of looks like you can tell it's been like multiple layers of it. Um, you know, we're gonna add the, the the light white black splash, the white cabinets people want. Our cabinets will look a little bit prettier than that. Um, and then you'll see this the, the matching appliance package, things like that. Um, these are the things. These are little inexpensive things. I'm, you know, if you're if you're in the single family world. You know, this is a very low grade uh, turn, very easy to do, but does produce the 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 ability to charge more because it 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 it, it separates us from the other uh, properties in the area. Let me go to the next slide. 
I won't go too much into this. If you ever how we're spending every dime, have at it. It's we're an open book. Um, let's see. And uh, we got a good question. But the total capex that we're putting into the deal is 1.994. Why don't we stop for this question? So we got. Let's see. How's that work? Let's see. We got a so question. Let's see. Plans for two years. Yeah. What does the two year plan mean? Do you mean the renovation will take two years? I believe so. Yes. So the 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 plan for the the capital expenditure portion of the project is two years for us to spend that money. Great question. And then but the actual whole time of the property is three to five years. So perfect example uh, is across the street. We have a two, we had a two year plan to spend the majority of the large ticket items, right? So we've actually only owned this property for 11 months now, and we are through just about the entire CapEx plan that we that we we we, we knew it would take two years. We asked for two years. We told the lender it would take us 18 months. We thought it would take 12. We're doing it faster than that. Now there are some ongoing uh, repairs because not every unit is available to uh, to be turned. So you know, we still need the, the time from years, you know, once the big CapEx items are done, the big improvements, we still need time to finish renovating those 93 units in this deal. So, and as we do that, as we pick up more cash flow, more cash flow. And, and once those expenses are just builds and builds and builds and builds to the end, which in that three to five year time, once that builds to a number that increases that NOI from a, a by a million dollars from where it was when we purchased it. At that point, typically the multifamily investment has squeezed a lot of groups and it's time to probably do a capital event. Um, in this case, it will be to sell the property uh, in, in years three through five. Great. Uh, so let's go to the next slide, Chris. Thank you for asking that, guys. We, we love talking about these deals. We can go on tangents, but if you guys have questions, we love answering questions. That way we can we can fill you guys in on what what's matters the most to you. So. Uh, this slide is completely wrong, and, and this it says down here, subject to change, change prior to closing. I do have updated lending terms here on my phone. Um, so we, we're looking at a floating rate bridge loan. It's a three-year interest only. We have two extensions built in. It's basically SOPR plus 4.02, roughly 8.2% uh, roughly all-in rate. Uh, we do have a cap rate that the lender is making us purchase. And uh, that cap rate is, says the cap rate not locked in, but will be at least a 2% strike rate, which effectively makes our rate 6.2%. Um, debt coverage is 1.58 in year one. So uh, it's, it's, what is different on this is that we are a 63% loan to value. Uh, so, but that doesn't change any of this. So we have a $19.2 million purchase price, have an 18 to 20% AAR target. I think we're really going to sit right at that 19%. You know, five-year total return, 90 to 95%. That's going to give you that 1.9 to, 1, 1 to 2.0 equity multiple. Uh, that 7% price is going to pay you out quarterly in a three to five-year hold. So a lot of good details there. Um, this is one I'm not going to take a, screen, you know, take a photo of your cell phone. Uh, uh, that's what I've done is uh, following up with folks. You know, here's the quick highlights, um, but I won't read the screen for you and go on to the next one. Property highlights. So I love, and you can actually go, so, well, a couple of the amenities. So we've got gated access. We've got, we actually have video surveillance. This is huge it's it's the it's helped the property a ton you can see how cute the little entrance is and how uh, how spacious it is new concrete this is a very comfortable place to pull in and i say that because and that's where it helps to know guys that know the market or i'm at these properties every week you know this is a three it's three lanes each side of this road the speed limit's 50 and everyone goes 60. so everyone it, it's a very it's a there's a busy street and so our property uh, across the street that we already own we have a tight entrance it's impossible to park i drive a big truck because that's what people do in texas since we moved on from horses and it's really hard it's hard to park my truck anywhere on that property 
so now, once I own this one, I'm going to park over here and walk across the street. Because when you fall into this place, there's open spaces. It's a big lot. Um, uh, and some other stuff. We have a pool with outdoor kitchen, covered parking. And then go to the next uh, slide, Chris. I think it actually shows the layout. So here's some more pictures. I mean, like, like I mentioned earlier, you know, fresh exterior paint was just done by the previous owners. That's not something we're going to have to do. Uh, this was the this is the model unit on the left side. One of the things that this model unit has that no other property has or unit um, is this chair rail across the middle. Modernizes a little bit. I don't know that we're going to add that to all the units, but it is a nice touch in the in the model. It's maybe a little misleading because none of the properties, none, none of the other ones have it. But uh, you can go to the next slide. more pictures the pool is super nice this top right picture you can see the gazebo with there's like three grills over there with rock and so i mean it's a great living experience in this property compared to what else is in this area go to the next slide uh here's some of the floor plans uh, so the one one here on the left is the smallest one one even though these units are very large for this area another reason why we're gonna get to charge maximum rents for the market uh, this one one there's 56 of these that's the only that's the only floor plan that doesn't have the built-in washer and dryer hookup so uh, one thing we don't have on the business plan because it's kind of a 2.0 if we run into a lot of cash flow that we we want to reinvest in the property we might add uh, the washer and dryer hookups into the closet here we could basically take them from the bathroom put a stack of a washer dryer in here and maybe increase uh, the income uh, of this by about 50 to 75 dollars just depending um so that's that's one area we, it's kind of that's kind of like a 2.0 plan uh but then you'll see this the size and space of the other one ones and the two twos keep going and this is the one i love showing the thing that's really unique about the reserve at lake highlands guys and i mentioned how tight and confined my other property is this one, you see a lot of green space. At this property, you know, I'm a father, I've got two kiddos. In fact, when I was, I actually just turned 39 yesterday. When I was 28 years old, I was still living in an apartment. My wife and I, we had our two babies in a third floor apartment in Rowlett, Texas, not far from here. And, you know, I remember going out all the time and throwing the football with my son, who was three years old at the time, or, or you know, right in hopscotch squares with my daughter, who was one, and really all she could do. She couldn't play football yet. But, uh, but you know, you, you, as, a, as, as an owner operator, as someone that's very passionate about leaving this world and uh, way better than we found it, I, I, take, I take that fatherly, that, uh, that provider mentality into all these properties. How do we make this a safe place for our family? How do we raise this community up from where it's at and, and make it better uh, in the time that we own it? And the green spaces are huge here. We've got we got so many cool ideas here, but this is a property where a family can go out and throw the football. And that's not something you can do in the concrete jungle, this area. This area is very heavily, uh, uh, it's flooded with multifamily. Uh, there's a ton of jobs nearby, there's a ton of industrials, a ton of medical, a ton of colleges. This is where, and there's a ton of construction. This is where the labor force of North Dallas lives. Live in this apartment, and not a lot of the properties offer the space to breathe, to feel like you're at home, to get away from the the busy the, the busy highways and the busy streets that I talk about you when know, you come from. So this is a huge aspect of this property. On the back side uh, is actually a jogging trail. As the community, the city of Dallas has tried to clean up this area, they're trying to connect that trail through a beautiful bridge over 635 and into the south side of Lake Highlands, which is actually a very affluent area. So uh, it starts with fixing the crime in that area. Um, some of the things the city has done in the last five years to uh, is they've increased like a 4% tax on business owners to pay for uh, uh, more police being in the area, to flush out the drugs, flush out areas that, uh, and then the second thing is they've incentivized people like us uh, not directly, but through parks and other amenities to come in, buy these places, make them nice so you can charge rents to get the, the bad people out. And that's a, this is a part of Dallas that is growing. Um, the, the, the rents we're able to charge is because people now feel safe again. And that work was started way before us, but there's still a lot of, uh, there's still a lot of meat on this bone and, and we're really excited about it. So uh, you can go forward and I don't know how much more there is. I would love to ask anyone now 
if you have any questions. And I will say this, the Lance, the great job um, in, in taking us through the details here for, for everyone. This when what will happen is that after this meeting is that I'll distribute the, the this investor presentation so that you'll have the opportunity to go through some of these things in details. I know we're you know some of these these financials that you may want to to look at and uh, from the PL to in the pro forma to be able to see where things are how things are trending and how we we've arrived at the numbers that that are here. I think it's gonna it'll all you know help you piece together and the recording will be uh, there to accompany it as well. So just wanted to add that. But yeah, I'll uh, uh, there's there's a, a couple other uh, slides that, to maybe go through and then we'll stop. We'll pause for for Q and A. Lance, does that sound good? That sounds great. And yeah, I, on this pro forma, you know, we've, we've, we've mentioned the high level financial stuff. You guys will have access to this slide deck. Please go through it. Ask any questions, uh, you know, reply to that email. We, we're, we're, we're an open book as we have to be uh, selling these opportunities, but we won't go through it uh, line item by line item tonight. So uh, if you have some detailed questions, please ask, uh, but, and, and we can answer those, but uh, for, for the sake of time and, and not reading the screen, I, I try to do that as little as possible. We'll go to the next slide here. Um, you know, this shows the, the, the total returns and that 1.94 uh, uh, equity multiple. Uh, this is, you know, basically right here, you take it, you know, oh, there it is. So you take $100,000 uh, $100, and you'll see here we are, uh, let's see, that's the projected cash flow. There's a dollar amount, take it 377, it just grows as we get the property stabilized. And then a cell in year five would end up being cashing out somewhere around uh, 194,000. That's, that's exactly that 1.94. Um, you know, obviously down here, the cap rate sensitivity analysis, we actually got a lot of credit here on this one because a lot of people try to guess the cap rate, which is impossible. Every, you know, there's, there's a lot of expensive reporting you can buy where people uh, the cap rate. The best thing you can do is just be conservative, you know. And so we've got, uh, you know, exit cap rate of 5.75. Um, so that's where we're we're coming up with with that data. Uh, yeah, this is a great a great uh, screenshot of what a hundred thousand dollar investment would look like into the reserve at Lake Highlands. You go to the next one. There's just more units. So so this is what we were able to do at Chesapeake. And this is a new slide, so I'll probably am going to uh, uh, read this. But you can see this is what we had. This is what we inherited across the street, and now this is what these units look like. So, uh, you know, we in February of of uh, 2022, we had a classic average rent on our one one at $817. Um, currently, uh, not even, this is as of November, uh, which we're, man, we're a lot higher. Uh, we're higher now, but that's how conservative we're being, guys. Uh, we're, our classic unit is now 1200 a month, and we're getting 1285 uh, on the premium rent. Uh, on the 2-1, we were at 849 Guys, look at this, 849 So classic to classic, that's us doing nothing, right? So 849, we took it up to $500 a month on the premium. We we're now getting 1435 uh, on the uh, two bed, one and a half bath, 1157 to 1475, uh, and then on the two two, 1161 to 1525, and that's you know right around that 1560 to 1610. So I mean that that is what we're doing with half the property. Not as good as access. Not as comfortable. I mean we, we truly believe. Um, this is, is a class above what, what we have accomplished. Uh, so we expect that to even be better, honestly. But uh, conservatively, we're showing you here. This is what we've done. So uh, the next one. And then it shows you the proximity, which I was always able to do through that, that little picture. But uh, we are directly across the street. Um, uh, and you can see actually behind here to the, to the left of the reserve, you can see that jogging trail uh, that our property backs up to. It goes, I really don't know where it goes right now. I need to, I need to go out there and jog every morning. I need to see where it takes us. Go to the next one. 
Um, so this is the exit strategy, right? So I, I will read this because I love how it said. I love how, how we did this. So sponsorship team will continually assess market landscape and can carefully consider any opportunities to return investor capital and maximize returns. However, investors should expect a minimum five-year hold. Investment, the following strategies are potential exit strategies depending on market uh, conditions. First one, approximately five years or less, there'll be a full disposition of the property with a return on investor capital and profit based on investor capital. And then the second, um, which is not as likely in this current lending environment, but it's still, it could change. Like it just changed on us 12 months ago or within the last 12 months. At approximately two to three years, there could be a cash out refinance to increase cash flow and return of a, a portion of investor capital. Uh, Proforma does not include any refinance assumptions. We're not expecting that, but that is always an option if things were to turn in that way. So, uh, and usually when that happens, you maintain your equity, but would receive cash, a portion of your cash. So, from here, this is this is where Chris gets to be the hard the hard closer. This is where I like all the funds, you know. Uh, uh, you know, I'll let you kind of take over from here. What folks can expect. Obviously, we want to answer any questions uh, that are that are out there. But uh, yeah, we're very excited. I don't think we talked about the total raise. Uh, we had to raise close to 9.8 million for this opportunity. Uh, we have about two million dollars left to go. Uh, it's we're in the we're in the home stretch, um, and uh, we would love any and everyone to be a part of this. So, uh, Chris, I'll turn it over to you and kind of what folks can expect from the next step um, uh, in, in terms of your portal and things like that. Yes, thanks, thanks, Lance. So, yes, uh, in fact, I I recognize you know from from the, the original deal presentation we have a date here that that says twelve fourteen, but in fact, um, our, our the investor portal is is open um we are we are going to ask folks to uh to get their subscriptions in by february 15th and so, so uh and so what you be on the lookout for is an email uh coming from me along with uh the recording from this evening um you'll have the presentation uh, from this evening as well um, this, this investor summary, so you'll be able to look through the details, and then you will be able to. There, in the email itself, there will be instructions to um, to create your account in the investor portal, and to and to go through and review the uh, subscription documents, and then you'll be able to uh, to complete those documents, sign everything via the DocuSign, and then uh, of course when uh, as you're prepared to wire. Uh, your uh, your funds for your investment. Um, we uh, you know as I mentioned, th there are several people that um, did notify me that they were not able to attend here live this evening, but they they are going to to get the replay. Um, I would encourage you that if you're ready to to be to be ready to act. Um, of course, you spend do your due diligence review the details that you know reach out to us if you have questions um we were happy to answer them um uh, but but if you're if, as you're ready to invest um act quickly so that you're able to um you know get in, into this great opportunity uh for uh, this great investment opportunity i should say so um with that i would say um once we're fully funded um we you know there we are and, and we are not accepting any additional um any additional subscriptions at that point in time uh so uh we'll, we'll close everything out and uh we'll, we'll look forward to to taking this deal down with all of our investors in this opportunity so with that i, I just want to say thank you to everyone for for first for the patience at the beginning with the technical di difficulties here um but i but i appreciate your your engagement, your your time, and and uh, spending with us and going through this exciting opportunity. Um, I want to thank Lance for for really walking us through the details and you know that market expertise and and the the ability to just you know speak so eloquently to everything that's going on there and to have that on on this GP team um, is su such a special thing. It's not a, it's not a common thing that you have someone who is you know born and raised in the area you know to be able to uh, you know own the asset um in in their literal backyard so this is such a great opportunity and so many factors lined up for me 
as to the why behind this deal beyond it being a solid deal, um, but but to be able to partner with such uh, great um, operators. Um, to to be a part of a of a team that is is looking to to bring value to communities to and bring great investment opportunities to um to to our investors um you know all of our stars stars aligned as they say and uh, I'm just so uh, uh, grateful to be a part of this so look forward to partnering with all of you um please stay tuned for the email if you haven't been seeing my emails please make sure you check. Um, I'm assuming you all have because you either received a text message for me or you've received an email. But um, if you if you haven't seen any emails from me, please check your spam or junk folder, junk folders, or uh, you know I've tried to work through things to make sure that they don't my email doesn't get caught through any spam blockers. But I want to make sure that you're receiving my communication so you don't miss out on the, the on opportunities like this. So thank you again for this evening, and uh, I hope you all have a great night. And we'll. Hold on for a minute to see if anyone has any uh, questions, and um, and then we'll go ahead and, and wrap it up from there. I, I just saw your text about this, the audio. I, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. No problem. I think I think it was it was it was a little choppy, but um, but we were able to you know get.